Hi guys, before I get started, I wanted to talk to you about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform that lets you take classes in various subjects such as design, business, lifestyle, photography, etc. They have been so kind as to propose to me a partnership, so I really, really thank them for that. Uh, it really helps a lot. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for everyone who wants to try it out. We have two, you have uh, two free months of uh, membership. And the way it works, it's like an online college. You can take classes in various skills, such as fine art, illustration, sketching. For instance, if we choose the Gabriel Piccolo course on character illustration, Gabriel Piccolo, who is an amazing, amazing artist, and I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of you, know him already. Uh, so we have uh, timestamps for the video, video. <laughs> and uh, you can submit class projects and such so it's really like an online college if skillshare isn't your thing fair enough you can translate at no charge whatsoever so i really really encourage you to try it out it will help me a lot so now let's get to the video it's already weird enough for me to record my voice but uh let's get let's start this uh, as you can see, I started with a bit of sketching, and really, I can't sketch with the camera in front of me because I can't because I can't face the drawing straight on. Which which is a tip I can give you to anyone who wants to draw. Please, please face the drawing or the paper straight on. If you are hunched over, I mean, you should be hunched over on the paper. But if you are facing it sideways and you're not really looking at it, then you will have some serious uh, uh, perspective issues. Right now I'm using a wet on wet, wet on wet technique, which means that I'm wetting the paper first with clear water. And <coughs> my water wasn't so clear, but eh, whatever. And then I'm adding some pigments, some color, which is just a mix of cadmium yellow cadmium red and a tiny tiny bit of rose and purple <coughs> now i'm just adding <sighs> color okay this is so weird for me <laughs> this is so weird for me to be recording my own voice because i hate listening to my voice it's like you know when you're sending uh voice messages over on whatsapp or messenger which I rarely even do. I really, really hate that. I, you know how people send those messages and they listen to themselves afterwards. I would never. That's that's a big no, no. That's like torture for me. Please don't make me uh, listen to my own voice or even uh, watch myself on a video. I, I, I can't. I cringe so hard. I, anyway. Uh, yeah. Where, where are we? <laughs> so I'm adding some shadows. Um, using uh, yeah a more saturated it's the same colors just more saturated and but this I uh, by this point I'm already looking at the chin and cringing so hard because as I said I don't think I was mm, attentive enough when I was drawing the chin because oh my god I, I just want to jump to the video and uh, 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 anyway don't worry i will correct that uh that reminds me that when i published the sketch of this drawing i published a story on my instagram about uh, completely erasing the drawing to redo it and a lot of people were sending me horrified reaction it's okay <laughs> reactions it's okay people it's really okay i mean yeah i've zoomed in <laughs> It's okay because if you know that a sketch isn't good enough, I mean, then you really shouldn't be spending that much time on... Yeah, I've corrected the chin now. Oof, thank God. Yeah, if a sketch isn't good enough, then pose, go take a breather, eat something, drink something, then come back to it and then you can look at it with a fresh look and see what exactly is wrong with it and then you can correct it because it makes no sense to oh by the way i'm adding highlights with white acrylics it makes absolutely no sense to start a 
drawing and you you know that the sketch isn't good enough and then you're gonna spend so much time on it for it not to look good because the base layer isn't good so yeah if it means i mean if it means you have to redo the sketch just redo it it's okay it's better to redo a sketch than to redo a whole painting because watercolor t takes layers and layers and layers and it's a lot of time <clears throat> so yeah what am i doing now just the base layers for the shirts oh i started shading it a bit before putting down the the fabric uh the fabric what the the fabric stripes and and oh i, I am bad at this can you can you tell I am very bad at this? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like to work um, on the hair and clothes sim sim simultaneously. Oh my God, words. Anyway, I like to work on them at the same. Yeah, I'm adding some shading again. Uh, I like to work on them at the same time because the way you should work with watercolor is you shouldn't work on spaces that are adjacent adjacent to each other they're <laughs> close the, the, they shouldn't touch each other you know <laughs> that's what i mean <laughs> anyway so that's why i do the face first and then i add the hair and the clothes i really like this background i've never done a background like this but i really, really actually like it yeah, I think it's my favorite part of this painting. Weird. Yeah, weird. I also really like his face. Yeah. Good job, me. I usually don't like my own stuff. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, the hair. I'm using an angled brush to add the strands of hair with brown mixed with black. And now it's just straight up black. I'm sorry about the lighting, by the way, I still haven't figured it. It was a very grey day, very a lot of rain and shit, so yeah. Also, please tell me if you like this kind of video, like, uh, if you, uh, do you want a straight on, how do I say this? Please tell me if you like uh, videos that are straight on filmed or just clips with drums and stuff like that so yeah now I'm removing the the tape and completely blocking the camera with my hands yes amazing such scale I love 10 on 10 <sighs> this was hard I'm tired how do people do this anyway thanks for watching guys and if you're interested in supporting me you can purchase a, a print of this or uh, support me on coffee that really really helps a lot and thank you again for Skillshare for the partnership and I will talk to you guys probably in a very very long time because I hate talking thanks bye